in this video, we will be covering uh, chapter 2.3 of your MX textbook. Okay, the title of the uh, equations involving indices. Alright, so, so there are only two examples there. Uh, example 13 will be quite similar to Emax, okay, but example 14 is new. Alright, so we'll cover example 13 first. Okay. So basically, when one of the ways to solve uh, this question whereby the x, the one that you want to find, is actually in the uh, indices. Okay? One of the ways is actually to make uh, both sides, the left and the right, to have the same base. And we make it to be one particular number and nothing else. Okay? Like if, if we want to make it to the base 5, then everything on the left must be just base 5, and then everything on the right must be just base 5. Okay? So let's take a look at this. Okay? Right, so we have this 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 is equals 1. Okay. Okay, so what we can do here is uh, we can't do much here, but we know 1 is actually 5 to the power of 0. Okay. Once we make them to the base 5, okay, we can remove the base and then we say that the indices has got to be the same. Right. So solving this as per normal, we get x is uh, either 1 or x is negative 1. Alright, so a rather simple question. Okay, now let's try something slightly different. Alright, for this one is 9 uh, to the power of 2x plus 1, okay, uh, minus 27 to the power of x is equal to 0. Okay, so for this question, what they suggest is that you take 9 to the power of 2x plus 1, leave it on the left. Okay, this 27, bring it over to the other side. For negative 27x, bring over to become 27x, to the power of x. Okay. Then, what you do next is that uh, 1 is 9, the other one is 27. So, uh, try to make them the same base, the common base. So, for both of them, uh, we can change them into uh, base 3. Right? So, base 3, okay, we get for this side, 9 becomes 3 squared, and then whatever power that we started with. In this case, 2x plus 1. Okay. This side is 3 cubed. Okay. And then whatever power you are left with. Okay. In this case, just x. Okay. There is a bracket, but uh, I think by now you should know that the bracket when they open up, you just multiply the power. Okay. So I'll multiply both, both sides. So you get 3 to the power of 4x plus 2. This side is 3 to the power of 3. Okay. And since again, uh, similar like just now, uh, that one is base 5, this one is base 3, and nothing else. So you can see that the indices of the powers are the same. Okay, so wait for this, we get x is negative 2. Alright, okay, so this uh, try 13, why don't you uh, try it out first? Okay, and I'll continue with example 14 after this. We're back. Okay, so we are now doing attempting example 14. Okay, so like I said earlier, example 13 is similar to your Emacs indices, but example 14 is the one that is solely for Emacs, okay, uh, where we make use of substitution. Okay, previously or earlier in topic 2.2 indices, we have learned uh, how to use the substitution, but we didn't use it to solve a question. So now we're going to use that particular technique to actually solve a particular question. Okay, so they tell us this. Uh, use the substitution u equals to uh, u equals to two to the power of x. Okay, to solve the equation as such, four to the power of x plus one is equal to two minus seven to the power of, uh, seven multiplied by two to the power of x. Okay, so uh, how do we go about doing it? Is that we we just uh, use the substitution as instructed. Okay, so. For 4 to the power of x plus 1, uh, similar to the indices topic, we can split it into 4 to the power of x, okay, multiplied by 4 to the power of 1. Okay, for this end, we don't have much things to do. Okay, so we leave it as it is. Uh, I know we always say that sure, there's 2 to the power of x here, there's 2 to the power of x here, why don't we just substitute? Uh, we substitute all at one go, but not now. Okay. 
So for this side, uh, photo from X can be changed into because 4 is too square. So as you know, this is 2 to four, 2x. Okay? There's a bracket first and then you open up the bracket, but by now you should be familiar with how to convert from here uh, photo of x to become 2 to of 2x. Okay? Right, so this one is just 4. X so will leave it as 4. And then this one will leave it as 2. Minus 7 to of 2 to of, eh, sorry. Minus 7 times 2 to of x. Okay? So now when we substitute, okay? Mm, we substitute u as 2 to of x. You see, in this uh, form, right? Okay? Uh, this is actually somehow like 2 to of x. Later, we'll, later on, we'll see. Okay? See, eh? Let me just erase this first. Go one step back. Uh, 2 to of 2x. Okay? It can either be written as 2 to of 2 and then the x on the outside, or we can write it as 2 to of x and the square on the outside because both means 2x, 2x, 2x. All means 2x. So you, you can write it in either way. So let's write this as this. Okay? Let's erase this and write it as 2 to the power of x and then the square on the outside. Okay? Now we do the substitution. Okay? So we sub u is equal to 2 to the power of x. What happens now is that this one becomes u squared times 4. So 4 u squared. Okay, get it? This is u squared, this is times 4. So 4 u squared. Okay, equals to 2 minus 7, this becomes u. Okay, rearranging, we get this equation. Which happens to be a quadratic equation. Okay, so since it's a quadratic equation, we can solve it how as how we solve our normal quadratic equation. So uh, they use factorization. So we get 4u minus 1 and uh, u plus 2. Okay. So your final answer u is 1 quarter and then u is negative 2. But we're not done. This is u. What we're trying to find earlier is for its x. Okay. So we have to convert it back. Okay. The u is actually 2 to the power of x, right? So I'll do it here. Okay. Uh, 2 to the power of x. Okay. 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 quarter. Okay. Following this, we what we have to do is change this to 1 over 2 squared. And we know that 1 over 2 squared is actually uh, 2 to the power of negative 2. Okay, we flip. And then after that, we get x is negative 2 because they are both the same case. Alright? Okay, for the other one, uh, 2 to the power of x is negative 2. Alright, let's subtract for a while before we come back. Okay. Uh, why 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 2 is no solution. Okay, let's list down the possible uh, type of numbers for x. Okay. So if x is just a positive number, okay, more than zero, then this product on the left, okay, this two to of x will also be positive. Okay, we can see that as uh, two square is four, okay, two cube is eight, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, but it will never be a negative number. Okay. Then we take a look at x equals to zero. Okay, so if x equals to zero, so on the left. Okay, we get 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. And it's still positive. It's never negative. Okay? And we break it up. Okay, let's try fractions. Okay? X is a fraction. Okay? So on the left, okay, if it's a fraction, we know that, let's say, for example, 2 to the power of half is just going to be square root 2. Okay? If it's 1 third, square root, uh, cube root 2. Okay? So on and so forth. But whatever the case, the answer will still be positive. Okay, so positive, positive, positive. Okay, when you take square root of a number, it's still going to be a positive number. Okay. Now the last one, okay, we've covered most of the things, except for the last one, which is what happens if x is negative. Okay, let's write it. Okay, now x is negative. Okay, so we've covered more than zero, we've covered zero, 
I will uncover the negative. So we will uncover the section of the Okay. So if x is negative on the left, okay, is two to the power of negative number. Let's say negative two. Okay. This is one over two to the power of two, which is one over four. Okay. All we know is if if it's two to the power of negative three, it will be one over eight. Okay, so on and so forth, but it will always be a fraction, but it's a positive fraction, it's not a negative fraction. Okay, therefore, uh, 2 to the power of x equals to negative 2 has no solution. Alright, okay, so remember, okay, so now uh, let's see, you're supposed to try out uh, the try question, okay, uh, that will be try 14, okay, and later on the Remember, teachers, you don't just teach professionally, you teach professionally.